like and subscribe. Drink. <laughs> I do my drinking in the evening time when I'm in Las Vegas. You can tell in the sun and can I get my color from a sunray lamp when I'm in Las Vegas. You guys didn't think we were coming to Vegas without going downtown, right? We are at the iconic Golden Nugget, probably the most popular hotel on Fremont Street. We needed to come and check this one out. We tried the $20 trick again, which is something we're trying out lately, and we did get an upgrade. They upgraded us to the Rush Tower Suite. Larger suite, renovated, brand new, and so far, very impressive. So let's go ahead and do a room tour. So that was the room tour. First impression, I'm definitely impressed. They have robes and slippers. They give you four complimentary bottles of water. There's a refrigerator in here to keep those cold, which is a really nice touch. It's a Monday that we're checking in and we are actually surprised at how busy it is here. It's really, really busy. The pool looks very full. We're gonna go try and see if we can get in there. One of the cooler pools in Las Vegas. The pool chairs are also really, really nice. And it's really hopping in here. I got a Cadillac Margarita. For the same price of all the other pool drinks, you get Patron, Chambord, and fresh lime juice. And it's delicious. build up my liquid courage because there is like a three-story tall slide that goes through a shark tank and I think I'm gonna have to do it. Okay, we just got back from the pool. It was so fun and honestly really cool. They actually have a massage therapist walking around to give massages for feet and backs. And she said it was only $3 a minute, which sounds like a lot, but like five minutes, that's like $15. And five minutes is a long massage, so not a bad deal at all. We just got back, we're freshening up, and we wanna explore the Golden Nugget because every time I've been in this hotel, it's been packed with bodies because at night it gets super busy in this hotel. So let's go take a look around and see what we can find. Supposedly, this is the largest golden nugget on display in the world. It was found by some guy using a metal detector like six inches below the ground. It weighs 61 pounds. Some people say this isn't the real one, but I don't know for sure. Let me give you a little bit of history on the golden nugget. There is a ton of it. The Golden Nugget was originally built in 1946. That makes it one of the oldest casinos in Las Vegas. Originally, the Golden Nugget did not have a hotel in it. That changed when Steve Wynn came on board and bought a huge stake in it in 1973. The first hotel tower opened in 1977 and it's been growing ever since. It has also changed hands quite a few times. At one point MGM owned it and now it's owned by Landry's Properties. So many iconic films have been filmed in here about Las Vegas, including Viva Las Vegas starring Elvis, Vegas Vacation with Chevy Chase was filmed in here, and the James Bond movie Diamonds Are Forever has a huge chase scene in here. It's really awesome. 
The location of the Golden Nugget is like dead center on the Fremont Street experience. You are underneath the dome, and when you walk out, you're right in the middle of all the action. It is a really great location as far as Fremont Street goes, and I think we are gonna go look for something to eat for a snack. Okay, so for a quick afternoon snack, we decided to try Sam Boyd's because they have a hot dog and Pepsi combo for $3.99. The hot dog itself is $3.50, so you get a soda for 50 cents. We wanna compare this to the Casino Royale 250 hot dog and see how it compares. It looks a lot bigger than the Casino Royale hot dog, like the actual hot dog. Okay, let's try it. The hot dog's honestly really good, and you get a soda with it for four bucks, so you totally can't beat that. Fremont always has the best, like, cheap eats deals. All right, guys, we just finished up some gambling down on the floor, and now we are gonna get all fancy and nice. I think we're gonna grab a pre-dinner cocktail, and then we have a really nice place that we're going to eat tonight. So we will take you there. All right, we made it to the Legacy Club here at Circa. We haven't been at Circa since the grand opening, which is just crazy. And this has opened up since then. This is on the 60th floor, has incredible views. I asked for a recommendation and I'm having the Liberace. It's like a cucumber gin with lime and jalapeno. It's like a little spicy, real smooth, delicious. So we're gonna enjoy these and then go to dinner back at the Golden Nugget. Okay, we've made it to our dinner. We're here at the Chart House inside the Golden Nugget. It's right outside our elevators. And I requested a table right by the beautiful fish tank with all the huge fishies. We are actually gonna try the prefix menu. $49 gets you an appetizer, entree, and dessert. And there are actually quite a few options. I also wanted to point out they have a really good mocktail list of no-proof cocktails. After my big Patron margarita and my cocktail just now, I think I need to chill on the alcohol for just a little while. Okay, how are you? It's coming for you. Our first course is going to be a chopped salad served with balsamic house-made dressing. Mm. I am trying the salmon and shrimp dish with rice, and Mr. Ruby has got the prime rib with mashed potatoes. Lava cake. Oh, it's hot on the inside. Lava cake. I want to get a little bit of everything. Okay. Okay, we just finished dinner. Our food was just fine. It was okay. It wasn't anything like spectacular. However, the fish tank is absolutely incredible. Our server was also the funnest and nicest guy ever telling us all about the different fish and like who got along with who. We had an absolute blast with it. So I would highly recommend, even if you don't go there to eat, you should sit at that bar and watch the fish for an hour or two because it was so fun. So now it's time for us to change into something a little more comfortable. You can't be down on Fremont without going out on Fremont Street at night. <sighs> Good morning. We went to sleep at like one o'clock and slept for like nine hours. We've been running on so little sleep this entire trip that it was time to get a really nice rest. We tried to call down for late checkout and they told us that it would cost $15 for an hour, which is a little annoying because it's Tuesday. That's fine. It just means it's time for me to give you guys my final thoughts on Golden Nugget. The room's really beautiful. It's brand new, you can tell, and all the furnishings and everything are great. The bathroom is awesome. Like, couple little drawbacks. A couple of our lamps don't work. Our safe was broken, and when we called down, they're like, oh, it could take like 30 minutes for a technician to come up, so we just had to do without. And the weirdest part is when you just first walk into the room, 
it has this really weird sewer smell. I don't know what that's about. It's faint and it's just when you first walk in and then it goes away. Otherwise, this room is really pretty. I love the robes and the slippers and the, the free water. Our room is a rush tower suite that we got by doing the $20 trick. We originally booked like a corner suite room and that was going to cost $187, which is really reasonable for a suite. It says the average rooms when I did like a week long were about $130 with resort fees which is a little more than most of the properties on Fremont. Location, obviously, for being on Fremont is perfect. You're right in the middle. However, it's kind of loud in the room. You can definitely hear it. When we were laying down to sleep at one, you could hear the bass bumping from down on Fremont Street. We passed out anyway, and for a lot of people, that's probably not a big deal. The shining beacon of this hotel is this pool. The pool here is so fun. The chairs are amazing. It's a great ambiance. The slide is fantastic. I loved the pool here. Casino, it's like 50-50 for me. On the one hand, they have fantastic games and we are up. We won at the Golden Nugget and it was awesome. And when we couldn't get in line for the Starbucks because it was so long, a server came up and brought us a coffee within like 40 seconds. So that was fantastic. The casino here is pretty great, but it is so congested. Just the way that the hallways are designed, you always bump into people. Even on a Monday when it's not busy, no matter where you walk, you're gonna slam into somebody. Overall, I feel like we have kind of a mixed review about the hotel. There's things we liked, there's things we kind of didn't like. Those are kind of my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I cannot wait to go check in to our next place. See you there.